All right, coach. So I've done step one, get glove side. Step two, short chopping step. Step three, right left receipt. Right for left hand, right. left right receipt. Uh, I'm going into step four, and let's talk about this. All right, so I've done right left receipt for me. The idea is I've got to get my momentum through my target, right? Sure. So really, the only thing we want to avoid in step four is going away from wherever we're throwing the baseball. So. Um, after we've done right, left, receive, all step four is right, left, throw. That's it. So all I'm doing is I'm feeling through the baseball. I'm allowing my hand to finally come to the ball and feel it out in front. If you notice, I'm not bringing it into my body. I'm keeping the glove out in front. I'm transitioning out in front. And then I'm just bringing my right foot towards the target, my left foot towards the target, getting in our throwing position, and then letting it go. Yeah, so I'm noticing, I guess, a couple of things. One, your right foot is in front of our left foot. That's always going to we're never going to go, you know, around our, our back foot, right? We don't want to and really, our ankle is what getting our direction going to the where right. so we're now, on second base too. To be exactly. Ball. We don't want to. We don't want to just generate power. We're also generating direction, right? We don't want to go. So there's some people who have the tendency to kick their left foot out towards our target, but now that's just getting my power moving that way. We're not getting to all the way turn. Our shoulders turn. By us doing this, I'm turning my shoulders and my body towards my target, right? So what's, what are some different terminology, I guess, that are, that are said? There's a lot of them out there. I could be a few of them. I'm talking about power step and one. Right, right. So all of it's the same thing, right? If we go right left receive and our first step is towards our target, it's all the same thing. Some people call this a power step towards our target. Some people call it a shuffle towards our target. No matter what it is, we have to avoid two things. Going away from the, our, wherever we're throwing the baseball, so we don't want to funnel the ball to our body because now we've killed our momentum and we've got to restart. We don't want to go out and around the ball, uh, out and around our body because then we've got to readjust and go towards our target. The other thing is we want to avoid getting, uh, leaving our arm behind, which is the easiest way to make bad throws, right? Throwing the ball and letting it sail over the first baseman is all, all it is, is getting our body and our, and our going towards our target with our arm going in the opposite direction. Because what happens is, as our body goes towards first base and our arm gets outside of our elbow, right? So we want to make sure on the infield that our hands are inside our elbow. As it goes past our elbow, we're going to transition into our throw and our chest is going to open up. And that means our release point is going to be way back here, which will have that sail happen. Sure. I agree. And so for us in the home as a lefty, you know, it's the same thing. We fill the ground ball, pick through it, and most of my throws are to second base. I'm just going to go left foot, right, right foot, get in my back, just the same concept. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. So no matter where you are on the field, um, especially on the infield, being able to get our direction going towards the target is going to allow us to get power and, and, and uh, accurate throw there. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below or reach out to us at baseballiqs at gmail.com.